Let's talk about another speed opening technique that the uh, lock sport competitors use and uh, they've stolen it from the uh, automotive industry and it's called the rocking technique. Uh, I, just for the sake of demonstration, let's pretend that these uh, Phillips screwdriver bits are the key pins and of course up here are going to be the, the drivers and the springs. So my, my hand will act as the springs. I'm just going to put it there. In the rocking technique, we're going to take our pick, uh, whatever type of pick you'd like to use. I'm going to use a, uh, just a hook. You're going to push it all the way to the rear of the keyway. Now a couple of restrictions here. First of all, it can't be a restricted keyway. You have to have access to the pin so that you can move your pick in and out. So the, the Y1 or one of those other weird keyways like uh, any of the Berg Wachters where you have to work around those weird corners, highly warded, this is not going to work. But for the other 90% of the locks it will. Take it in, push your pick all the way to the rear, and what we're going to do, we're simply going to rock it. Now, as we rock our pick, they're going to move up and down, and hopefully if they're similarly bitted, or not too radically bitted differently, uh, you're, going to, you're going to move them right up to the shear line and they're going to uh, seize up there, because we're going to be applying torque to the, the uh, plug at the same time. And when we just rock it randomly, we can sometimes rock it and the locks will open very, very quickly. Now, if, the, if there's a little bit of variation in the bidding, a straight edge, a straight pick won't do it. So we might have to put our pick in perhaps upside down so we got a curve, and then maybe just roll it back and forth. It's almost like raking, but at the same time, you're doing that rocking action. So anyway, let's get this junk out of the way, and let's get, get to the practice part. Here's a demo. I'm gonna. Uh, this is a lock. This is a uh, U-change lock. Kind of a unique uh, cylinder. It, uh, I think it contains some kind of alien technology. We're gonna. We're not gonna analyze it, but I will bust it open and let you see that uh, this is a completely t intact cylinder with everything inside of it. And what I'm gonna do on the first one, I'm just gonna take our our uh, tension wrench, put her in there. And then I'm going to take this straight pick, I'm going to put it in upside down. So when you do this, your competitors, they're going to look across and think you're crazy. But sometimes, if it works, then it, you can't argue with success. I'm going to put it to the rear, see if we get the right angle there. Apply just a little bit of tension, and then I'm just going to roll it. And if it doesn't work the first time, I'll just keep, and there we go. So we, we've already gotten in, we've rocked those pins in, into place. Now I'm going to leave this picked because I've taken the tailpiece off so I can bust it open for you without leaving the camera. Uh, let me take my pick out and I'm going to, let's see here, I'm just going to take a half inch socket uh, to use that and we're just going to push everything, get my correct hand going and we're just going to try to, okay that socket's too big so the heck with it. I'm just going to push it out and just hope for the best here. We're, I'll put it together later. Okay, come on, dude. Okay, there you can see all of the pins are in place. Oops, and all the pieces are falling out. And then all of the drivers have all come out as well. So all the pieces were there. Uh, we'll, there's other uh, YouTube videos that show you how all this thing works and how you can reprogram it. But for now, oops, <laughs> now I really made a mess of things. Let me just shove this trash out of the way so we can talk a little bit more about another lock. Don't believe for a moment that that U-Haul is the only one unfortunate enough to, to bit like that or to be prey to that. Like I said, any, any lock that contains not too many security pins, one or two at the most, you have open keyway. Uh, this is an IFAM lock. I picked this up uh, when I was working in Spain a few months ago. Pretty good quality lock. Uh, six pins. Uh, it is. It is not a. It doesn't have a lot of warding. And if you look at the key there, you can see the bidding is not too wild, not too radical. Very similar. Uh, it does work. Uh, pretty good luck. Very powerful spring. So we've got to put some serious pressure on this pin uh, on this cylinder to get it to work. Uh, I'm going to do the same type of thing. I'm just going to take my tension wrench, stick it in there, and again with the straight tension wrench. When you pick this thing pin by pin, or at least when I do, uh, because there are only, I think there's only one security pin in this thing, it takes forever because there's a lot of oversetting, a lot of trial and error, and you better bring your lunch, or at least me, when I pick this thing. So it takes a while, but again, straight to the rear of the cylinder, a little bit of tension, and then we're just going to rock it, and bam, we've rocked all those in place that fast. So let's try that one more time. I can't believe it worked so quickly. A little bit of tension, rock it. 
Bam, we're in. I think you try to pick this thing. It, it probably takes me 15 or 20 minutes to pick it, pin by pin, but by rocking, you're in. So it's just one more of those techniques that uh, you can put into your bag if you get in, need to open something fast. And if you know for sure, I know I'm going to lose all these pins. If you know for sure it doesn't contain too many security pins, and if you have good access to the keyway, stick something in there and try to try to rock it. Copy the automotive technique, and let's learn some lessons from the lock sport guys. Anyway, I appreciate your time. Be safe, and as always, stay legal.